Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 1% playthrough of Magnolia and Urban Plenty. This is map 3, Zoria Moria. Yeah, you see that right. This is a long video, and no, it's not because I play slowly. I will show you in the next room why this video is so long. But let me just grab this computer area map. I'm gonna take a look at the map. Look at that. A giant non-linear piece of art. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to explore. There are tricky fights in here. Platforming sections, jumping puzzles. It's gonna be quite a wild ride. And also jump scares. Ooh. Alright, so the first thing we wanna do here is just collect better weapons. So we got a chain gun here. And we're not gonna move on yet. We're gonna go back through here. As down here we can find an explosive barrel, just like in that one. Secret explosive barrels, they make a return. And down here we get a super shotgun. And look, it's the first of many art trials we're gonna encounter. We can double kill the chicken sir. Yes we can. Alright. So now for super shotgun, also wanna kill the chain gun there. The supercharge I will save for later. For now, let's just continue. Now we're back at the starting area again. Like I said, it's a big non-linear map. So we're supposed to go there, but I'm gonna go down here. Because down here we can also get a rocket launcher. And encounter more Archfoss. Here's number three. And yeah, 17 secrets, always fun to memorize. Although, after playing this map like five times, everything makes sense, the layout makes sense. Yeah, that's something um, I recommend. If you haven't played this map yet, do it now, pause the video, play it on up, play it on whatever, I'm too young to die or something. It's just, you need to absorb the art that is this map. I think it's legit one of the best maps I've ever played. And also one of the most difficult ones I have had the pleasure of uh, single segmenting. There are a lot of chokeable fights in this one. Alright, Cyber. Go down. It's time to kill you. Oh, nice block map. Did you see that? Also, I took a lot of splash damage there. Okay, one more shot and he's dead. One more shot and he's dead. Yeah. Alright, we also have a chain gunner. And two imps. And I also want to kill the barons. They're not dangerous or anything, but... There is a jumping puzzle I need to do here later, and I just want to kill them in advance. Alright. Also, Mr. Bones is here. And we got a Berserk. And let's see, we need a Plasma now. Let's open up the gate over there. Also, let's open up these two areas. Yeah, this is... A bit overwhelming for the first time player. How many paths did you open up? You don't know where to go. 17 secrets. Only 500 kills, but it doesn't say much. It could be 500 archers and two cybers, you don't know. But I know where to go. We're going here. Because down here, we can find a supercharge and also a plasma. So let's just. Killed Revenants over here in this corner. Why this corner? Because there's going to be an archer here later. And I don't want the archer to get even near the corpses. Alright. Pain Elemental, you're next. Where are you? There you are. Oh, wow. I think it was 80 damage. 
I mean, the screen got red enough for 80 damage. Actually, it doesn't really matter, because we will grab a Negosphere soon-ish. And Mega Armor too, because I need to do an Archful Jump. Come on. How much out the F? Okay. Also, there's a secret here. Just interact with the wall to open it. There are two Revens here. Kill him. Yeah, this area has uh, two boxes of shells, which is nice. Oh, I missed you. Alright, we'll kill you, because that switch behind the Mancubus is a secret switch, and to get there, you need to do the Archfall jump, so... Let's just shoot you three times. Why do I shoot him three times? Because I want him to die quickly after I do the Archfall jump, because I do not want him to resurrect anything. So, come over here. Hit him over here, please. Thank you. Big jump. There we go, and now we kill you. And here we have the secret area. But there's another one. Press the red switch. Two secrets. And we're saving the Negosphere for... for later, I guess. Do we? Yeah, we do. Yeah. We will grab a supercharge in a moment, so... Okay, so there's a yellow switch here. We do not have the yellow key. There are a lot of these random uh, key switches all over the map. But there's a lot of, uh, like I said, stuff to explore. So now we're back at the starting area again. But this time we are armed with the plasma. Which is a must-have for the prison area down here. Because we're going to face a Teal Cyber here. In a very cramped area. So we need the highest DPS possible, which in this case is the Plasma. Alright, let's grab this thing. There's also a turret here. Let's just be quick. Go over here, kill the Imp. Kill the Revenant, hopefully before the Archfall decides to zap me. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Got him. Kill you too, and then when I press the switch, that's when the two Cyberdemon will uh, spawn. So here he comes. Quickly kill him before start shooting. Yeah, nice. All right. Yeah, that turret there is really annoying. Okay, so press the switch, gotta be quick. It lowers the lift. And moving on to the next fight. Make a jump here. Kill you. Then there's also an arch for here. Yeah, Mancubus, die over here, please. Far away from where the Archfalls are gonna appear. Prepare the rocket launcher. Against the Revens here, I forgot to dodge. I don't know how to dodge in this game. And I'm just gonna plasma all the Kakos and Revenants that appear. It's also an Archfall behind me. But he's, um... He's stuck there. So we can just easily kill him. Alright. Also kill you, but be careful not to go around the corner. Because there is another arch, huh? There we go. Almost done with this room, just one more arch to go. I'm just gonna rush in with the super shotgun. Keep him away from the corpses. Stay close to him so he's more likely to attack and stay in place. 
and there we go another fight done let's move on to the next one ah yes this fight is fun involves a lot of teal cybers barons and turrets but the idea here is to just get rid of the teals as quickly as you can so i'm gonna start the fight kill you and kill you and hopefully the turrets help out a bit and they did oh now let's just run past everything do a quick u-turn i do not like the teal there oh crap i'm supposed to run past the barons there but i couldn't you're not in fighting are you no that's fine let's scrap the armor I don't know what this Baron is doing, but... I need to kill the Teals. Another Teal here. These guys are infighting, let's get out of here. Oof, that was a very risky U-turn. This Cyber is still infighting. This one is. But he's dead, so it's useless. This Teal died. This one's gonna infight. I just need to... Um, kill the two cybers in the coves oh again getting blocked by the barons i want to call this fight difficult but it is very easy to die okay so that one also died so now i can press the switches why do i want that because it deactivates the turrets and now i can focus on these two teals Let's just lure the barons to one side. I'll uh, get them to in five with the Teal Cyber here. If he decides to shoot at least. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna die. How about this one? Oof. I'm gonna get caught in the crossfire there. Okay, so he's gonna in it. I'll just kill him. Okay. Oh, there's still a lot of barons alive, damn. Well, let's just grab the health. Uh, that was actually a bit of waste of health. Pickups. Whoa, I did not think he was gonna shoot. Yeah, because I'm gonna grab a Mega straight now, so throwing those medicates was a bit use. Uh, yeah, a bit of a waste. But yeah, we got the yellow key now. We can do a lot of new stuff now, which is cool. I'm gonna save that Mega for later. So we can now press this switch, which lowers the Megasphere, which we will use, because there's going to be quite a tricky fight coming up. Uh, this switch I will not press until I have the BFG, because this fight is kind of ridiculous without it. Then there's a shootable yellow switch over here. And this fight here is, uh, is tricky. So... Let's grab the ammo. You're gonna get sandwiched by two Teal Cyberdemons and Archfalls here. So what I will try to do is wake up the Teal. Quickly. Plasma. The Archfall. Ooh, that was really close. See, that's why I need the Megaspheres. I can tank a Cyberdemon rocket like that. And this Teal I will Plasma to death. It's a bit too mobile to try to kill with the super shotgun. And this one I can't kill with the super shotty. Ooh, okay, yeah, that can still happen. Scary stuff. But, fight survived. Let's get the hell out of here. This switch opens the exit, but also reviews. Aha, a red skull key behind the fake wall. Which you need if you want a BFG early, so... Guess what we're gonna do next? You guessed right. We're gonna get the BFG. So here's the red skull switch. And here we have 
bunch of pain elementals, but this sector is um, sun blocking, so the other pain elementals do not wake up, fortunately. Not until you shoot them, of course, but... Alright, who's gonna win? I win. Okay. Another pain elemental here. And yeah, the red floor is damaging. Alright. Now we got a Mega Stress, so I'm gonna grab the Berserk. I will save it for emergencies, because the... This room is also gonna have one of the most difficult fights in the map. In uh, just a moment. Let's just grab this. These two Cybers and these Archfalls, they're all part of the tricky fight. You'll see. But for now, let's deal with this very cramped fight. I don't like this area because it's very easy to take damage here. And taking damage is something you do not want because you want to have full health and armor for the difficult fight with the Cybers and the Archfalls. And I want the Baron Corpse to be here, please. Don't be shy. And let's see, wake up the Archfall. Okay. Oh no, stay away from the corpse, please. I nearly got zapped there too, gotta be more careful with my timing. No! Why? Just, why do you hate me, God? I don't want to waste ammo on this guy at all. And I purposefully left him out of this hallway so he couldn't get resurrected. That's the irony. Please don't damage me, that'd be such a waste. There's a second archfall, but you can... Ah, oh, no, I was stuck. Okay, that's the only damage I'm willing to take. Ah, this is rough. The reason I want the full mega, of the mega armor, uh, mega sphere, is because I want to be able to tank a cyber rocket if needed. But it's lo not looking good. And it's gonna be another archfall. But this one we can anticipate. Just quickly rush him, kill him. Oh, why are you here? Get out of here. I want to focus on the pain elemental, but I cannot. Okay, now. Play some punch out with the meatball. And now for the difficult fight. Uh, let's see, did I grab all the ammo? No, I didn't. Alright, difficult fight coming up. This lowers the BFG, and also lowers you. Alright, so what do I do here? I grab the BFG, of course, and I will wake up one of the two Cybers. He's gonna teleport, I'm gonna make him move around a bit. And I'll try to run past him while I kill these two Archfalls, perfect. I do not like that Archfall one bit. Okay, he's dead. Phew. Phew. That was rough. They didn't need a rocket though, but we're not done yet. Still gotta deal with this one. I can tank a Cybeam rocket, worst case scenario. Oof, okay. So, survived the difficult fight. Thank God. And now you're gonna watch me struggle with a jump. A jumping puzzle, sort of. Watch me struggle. This jump is really, 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 really difficult for me. I, You can also do a rocket jump if you want, but I just cannot afford the damage. Oh, okay, so you have to do a very weird SR50-ish jump here to the left. It's just... Yeah, okay, see, I can't even... <laughs> position myself properly without falling. Ah, uh, you have to ride up this lift again. It's just, it takes a lot of time. But the reward is worth it. It's a mega sphere, but still. Setup takes just too much time. So maybe I can get it early. I don't know, but it's. I find this jump really difficult. So I hope I'll go, I'll go as well. Ah, uh, should have strafed earlier. So yeah, please have patience. This may take me 
a lot of tries. And there is a second jump in the in the map that also is like really tricky, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is gonna take me like 10 minutes in total. Of the video that is. Let's see. Ooh, there was a good movement, but I um I strafed too early. I bumped my uh, shoulder against the the little pillar there. I'll make it, don't worry. I'll try to make this as entertaining as possible. Maybe you're gonna laugh at my grunting noises every time I try to jump. Because grunting helps. Oh, close, close, close. I find this um, trigger really interesting. A bunch of conveyor belts. Strange design decision, but I like it. Oh, here we go again. Position ourselves. I have no visual cue for this, unlike like uh, Itelodum map uh, 7. Okay, let's go. Oh my god! So close. Maybe I should add a time uh, timestamp so you can skip me trying to do this jump. Maybe I will. I'll think about it. Maybe we'll get it now. Who knows? Okay, so maybe a bit more. Yeah, okay. And like this. Ah, I keep strafing too early, man. And I got the Berserk by accident. Ah, yeah, I told you some of these jumping puzzles are kind of ridiculous. And this is very plenty, by the way. Ultraviolence has. <coughs> excuse me. Ultraviolence has uh, three more secrets. <coughs> and they are even more ridiculous than this. Oh, that was really close again. In before someone makes a compilation video of all my grunts trying to do this jump. I'm giving you too many ideas, aren't I? Come on. Oh, that can also happen. Oh. Oh. You know what the worst part? Worst thing is, if I make this jump and then later in the video I die, uh, it's gonna feel so bad because I feel more accomplished doing this jump than beating that cyber outro fight. No joke. How do I do this again? God, I practiced this so much. But now I have sweaty palms. Maybe that's because that's the only difference. Come on, game, please. Yes! There we go! Oh man. That is so satisfying. I triggered the secret, right? Yeah, okay. Just making sure. Uh, yeah, so I do need that. I do. Um, I did need that Negus here very much. Well, I mean, there was also one there, but. Not the point. Um. I did need that Megasphere because of the starting room fight, which involves two Cyberdemons and two Archfalls and a lot of zombie men. Um, and no pain limit at all, surprisingly. So we start the fight, it starts off by spawning the zombie men, then I'll switch to the BFG, because here comes the big boy. Ooh, he nearly wanted to shoot me. Here's big boy number two. He's dead. Okay. Biggest threats eliminated because then the arch files you can just dodge by staying here in this cove. And now you cannot escape this room, all the exits are sealed. Arch will nearly zap me again. Alright, that's another fairly tough fight done. I can just punch out the arch to save ammo. Okay, I have a good feeling about this run now. There is one more difficult jump to do, and one more difficult fight, in my opinion. Unless I misremember some of the fights, but I don't think I... Uh, yeah, there's one more difficult fight, and that's it. Relatively speaking, of course. Alright, so we press this switch, which opens up this huge new area.
get some uh, chain on us here. Or over here, spawn please. Yeah. And we also get an arch for and pain elemental. So we gotta be quick here, press the switch, run like hell. Deal with the bastard. And here's the pain elemental. That we saw earlier in the starting room. I think. I think it's this one. I can't think of any other pain elemental that spawns in the map like that. Not at the moment at least. And yeah, that sniper mancubus is really annoying. But um, we are done with this area for the time being. Uh, what we did now is unlock this little bridge. And cross, grab the ammo, and just get out. We don't want to deal with those enemies right now. Oh, actually, there's two more difficult fights. I forgot about this one. Interact with the red wall there. And see, this is the reason why I kept that supercharge. I'm gonna full health for this. Yeah, so pressing that red wall opens up this cove here with the switch. Before I press the switch, I'm gonna pre-fire a BFG shot to not wake up the enemies that will appear. Because look at this. Arch falls and a two cyber. Three arch falls. Or four even. And pain elementals. It's really nasty. Also, they're still revenant alive, gotta be careful. It's infighting something. Probably the lost soul or something? Or still pain elemental still alive? Please don't tell me. Oh, I was hoping the lost soul was gonna catch that missile, but. Ah, oh, shit. So there was still pain elemental alive. But I'm glad I survived this fight because this fight is not easy. Thankfully, you can destroy this entire room with three or four BFG shots. Also, that turret is so annoying, but not as bad as this one. This one is horrible. That's the worst turret, and if you grab the cells, it's gonna shoot you. So I will grab the cells from above, I will just drop onto them. Gives the turret less time to shoot me. Also, this fight is pretty nasty too. Very cramped area with the Baron Arch on Revenant. I will just wake up. Uh, I'm sure this is a good idea. Let's bait some melee attacks. Oh, I barely took any trace damage, but he didn't deal that much damage, fortunately. Also, Arch for here. Punch, 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 punch. Punch, punch. Get the BFG ready, I think. I think? Oh no, I'm misremembering stuff, okay. I do want to grab those cells, and preferably without taking massive damage. But from up here, the eye cannot see me, right? No, I cannot. I'll just drop down, grab the cells, and get out. He deals so much damage, and it's almost unavoidable. Okay, I gotta say, this is going well. I have a good feeling about this run, but I don't want to jinx it. Oh, look, another arch shot. Surprise! What was that? Ah, okay. I heard an explosion. And I was curious, who shot me? But it's the faraway revenants that I didn't bother with. I will kill them later. So this switch creates a little platformy bit here, and then we jump to the rocky area. Here are the revenants. They're gonna infight with the mancubus. That's good. Random chain gunner. Okay, revenants are dead. A weird uh, node builder error here. I'm not even sure if this map was made for a software rendering. I assume it was, because most people do that. Oh, I have a lot of rockets I didn't use. Damn. Oh, crap. I probably spent all my shells instead of rockets. Uh, okay, so prepare the BFG, because once again it's going to be an archfall, and also a lot of 
barons and stuff. So let's just rush, kill the archfowl, and now we just use rockets because we have so many. And I will bother killing the barons. Because we're gonna revisit this area a couple of times, and I do, want, do not want the uh, barons to bully me. Alright. Alright, time for some uh, exploration. Remember in map 1 we had to find 4 switches that each had a number? We're gonna do the same thing here. So let's see. Um, yeah, this area is really cool looking. Yeah, so 4 switches we need to press. So one of the switches we can find right over here. Oh no, not yet. Just punch out some of these nerds. Yeah, there it is. That's switch number two. So that's one out of four. And now we go back to where all the revenants were and the mancubus. Did I not trigger the... I forgot the barrel secret. I have to go back there in a moment. Actually, I have to go back. Anyway. Because uh, here's the switch number one. Red key card. Uh, yeah, let's just go back. We need to attack the barrel secrets before I forget. So we jump again over here. Then over here. There it is. Okay. Um, what do we do now? We go back to the starting area. Wait, can we? No, because this is locked still. Uh, let me think. Yeah, see, even two more. Let me think, let me think. I've practiced this map quite a lot of times, but I still get lost sometimes. You can probably understand why. Ah, yeah. Let me go over here. And I think I will grab the Megasphere. I remember where it was. Yeah, I drop down here. No, not here. Drop down here. And then... Here you are. Megasphere. I hope I do not regret that decision. And... Yeah, we go back. We already grabbed these goodies. Oh, there's one more secret I need to grab. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice a bit. Okay, so... Remember that yellow switch that we shot? You can now... walk here. I'm not sure why this is a secret, but it is. And after half an hour, we can finally go through this gate. Or at least... I give myself permission to go through the gates. We could have gone the very start, but I didn't want to. Because I want a BFG. Why do I want a BFG? Well, because of this. Okay. I know that I knew there was a second archer. But somehow he found me. But yeah, see, that's why I wanted the Megasphere. For stupid things like that. Yeah, this archer zapped me. And I can finally kill the Mancubus. Can I kill another Mancubus? No, not from here. Alright, um, let me see. I don't need to supercharge. 
I need some shells, but that's damaging floor. I'm not sure if the trade-off is worth it. Mostly gonna use the rocket launch anyway, so let's just press the switch. Move away a bit, because there's gonna be quite some revenants approaching us. No, nothing to really worry about. One thing you need to worry about is um, falling. So I believe the teleporter now is blocked by a baron. And I think I would just kill him quickly. Is he there? Let's listen. Yeah, he's down there. So I'm just gonna jump down. He's blocking the teleporter now, which I do not want. So in case we fall, we can quickly escape and not have to deal with the uh, baron now. Just to be safe. Right now, beware of the two arch falls that are gonna appear. That's one, and that's two. Um, I think I'll grab the supercharge. By the way, I had questions about the uh, magenta and the blueish or teal. Supercharges, they're both the same. It's just a visual thing. Oh yeah, I mentioned at the beginning platforming. Let's go. It's time to remove that status bar. You know shit's getting real. And yeah, this is the reason I killed that Baron in case I fall. Okay, let's just take this easy. Kill that man. Can we kill that mankibus? No, we cannot. Oh yeah, I could have killed him from one step higher, but. I forgot. Oh, there's another Mancubus. Let's do this quickly then. Alright. There we go. Now there's gonna be a Teal Cyber here. Let's just... Wake him up. Oh, good, he shot. That's good. The faster he shoots, the better. Then he doesn't move around as much. Oh, that's a lot of lost souls. I do not like wasting my shells a bit. Where's the pain limit? Did he? Oh, come on. <laughs> He's trying to outsmart me. Okay, we're making good progress. I um, I like this. I like this very much. Still gotta do one difficult jump. Still gotta deal with one difficult fight, and then I'm confident I'm gonna. This is gonna be the run. Uh, let's see, bunch of revenants here. Pain elemental. All right. Now this is a very cool looking area, but uh, sadly there won't be a fight here. Would have been cool. Not sure how you could make this fight interesting. It's a big open area. Maybe I don't know, Mankiba or something. But um, it's cool looking. And I'm coming right up the lift here. Finally kill that Mancubus. And then we're gonna... Uh, grab these shells. Shoot this switch. It's gonna review the Revenants here. I'm gonna purposely stay in the line of sight of the Archfall. Just to make sure he doesn't move any further. So I was shooting the revenants from here on purpose, so he uh, tries to target me, and therefore doesn't move much. Okay, so now, now the second tricky jump. I'm really bad at uh, SR50 and stuff, so yeah, um, crossing this 
Ollie here lowers the wall that reveals a shootable switch, which lowers or which raises a little. I don't see the candle there over, over there, right? The candle. That's what we need to land on. That uh, that one appeared. You need to do a very precise SR50 jump. So once again, just like that one Megasphere secret, this may take a lot of tries. So please, patience. No, oh, that's the wrong angle. I've practiced this uh, quite a bit. But, um, like I said, I'm not good at this. Nope. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Please have patience. I'm not a speedrunner. I'm just some YouTuber that plays Dune. Okay, let's see. There we go. It's looking good, but it wasn't. I think I need to angle a bit more. As you strafe to the little gap, and then at the end you SR50, so... This works. Oh, that was close though. The setup was good, but my movement was bad. I'm one of the weirdos that does SR50 with his mouse, so I kind of need space on my desk as well for, for a jump like this it's something i just i have hard a hard time on learning sr15 with my mouse i blame peter for that he taught me that okay come on you can do this not that difficult well that was horrible again should i add a timestamp for the successful jump i don't know something tells me i shouldn't because this kind of creates anticipation when I will do the successful jump, but then again, what people may find this extremely boring. How do I do this again? I... Oh... I'm so bad at this. The reward is nice though, but... Getting there is just horrible. Please game. Oh, again, good setup, but again, I messed up my mouse. I think I'm moving my mouse too much diagonally instead of horizontally. Just being foolish. I should really unlearn mouse SR50. It's stupid. The worst thing ever. Okay, that's a good setup. One game. Oh, come on! Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Imagine those speedruns that can do this first try every time. I admire those people. Yeah, I got it. There we go. It didn't take too long, as I feared, but still. Okay, so I got a mega armor. I never have to go there ever again, except later. And now, we are here. Let's review... The... I'm not even sure what to call this. The Crescent Teleporter. So if you go counterclockwise, nothing happens. But if you go clockwise... Oh, suddenly the room changes. So it can go from teal to red to magenta, back to teal. So three different locations. So it's basically a silent teleporter. Teleports you around the map. Here you can press this switch. For more platforming goodiness, yes. And there's a hidden switch here for the blue skull key, which is gonna be the final secret. And here we have this section. Okay, let's telefract that Mancubus. This fight can be a bit scary, because Cyberdemons can be a bit unpredictable. Uh, actually, before I move on... Should I go there? No, I shouldn't. No, 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 no. There's a secret there. See those rockets? But I think if you do that secret, you cannot go back here. You have to do all the platforming again, so... I'll do that later. 
I need a reminder that I shouldn't forget to do that. But yeah, like I said, Cybernes are unpredictable. This is going to be a Telefrak uh, fight. That always be scary. So, three Cyberdemons. I'm just going to get the heck away. Just... Oh, that was the wrong side. Well, I'm just a bit afraid of those uh, Cybers. I don't have to do the platform again. No, wait, I do not. I'm stupid. No, 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 no. Don't listen to me. No, no, because this brings you back to the red crescent teleporter. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Uh, let's see if we can get these cybers to teleport. Yeah. And to teleport so I can telefrag them. It's the last one. Let's make him teleport too. Let's just camp here for a moment. Man, my palms are sweaty. Oh, I mean, 45 minutes into the map. With God Machine, I was almost at the end. Here, I think I'm... 70% done? 60% done? Tells you how huge this map is. If God Machine is considered... Like, 50% smaller. Uh, I don't like the side there. Can you please... Bump into stuff so you can teleport? Uh, maybe I should just go back here. Need to uh, mess up his pathing path so he walks into the teleporter, but he's too far away from the teleporters now. So, did you teleport yet? No. What if I stand here? It worked last time. Come on, I don't want to get close to get you to teleport. Yes! Okay. I really do not like Cyberdemon rockets. And also, gotta be careful not to teleport when the Cyber is shooting, because if you telefrag him on the same tick he shoots a rocket, so you're gonna catch that rocket right in your face. Just a pro tip. Okay. Hard shot that I can punch out, although I'm not, see, I'm not even sure why I'm bothering punching it out. It's not like I have shells or anything, but you never know. Ah, and look, what's here? Switch number four. So that's another switch. And... Uh, let me see, was there anything here to do? Yes, there is, but not right now. Let's go over here first. Wait, do we go here first? No, 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 oh no, 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 we don't go there. No, never mind, let's go here first. That area is dangerous if you approach it from that side, but you can also approach it from this side. Also, repair the DFG because of this sideshow. Oh, nice catch. There's a chain on here too. And a spare mega armor for later. And I think that's all, right? We killed all the enemies there. Yes, we did. Alright. Only one switch left, number three. And I know where it is. Because now these bars are gone. And here is the... Archfall again! Another Archfall! Unbelievable! Alright, so this fight... ...is the one we could approach from the other side. There's a trigger here somewhere that wakes up... ...the next... ...wave of enemies. Yeah, here they are. That Archfall is nasty. Kind of want him at the front, on the front row. I may have to shoot a missile to kill the pinky. Oh, Baron blocked the shots. Again. Oh no, please. Okay, thank god. Alright. Let's load all night. 
be aware of the turret. Again, very annoying turret. Because you need to step on this thing here. Oh, I actually dodged the shots. Wow. Oh yeah, this fight is actually... Oh yeah, I forgot about this fight. I consider this one also to be really difficult. I'm fully stacked though, so I should be fine, but still. It is just, yeah. This fight is difficult. I didn't think about it. Yeah, because we pressed all numbered switches now. We can now grab the blue key. Oh, crap. I didn't need to really prepare myself. Okay, that was a waste of a BFG shot. was not needed. I do need to focus on the... Especially the pain elementals. Okay, so I want as many pain elementals as possible to just teleport in. And then I just BFG stuff. I think that was a really good approach to wait for the pain elementals to, to all get out. Nice. That went... That went incredible. During all my practice runs, I always lose like half my health. Sometimes even die. But yeah, practice runs are a bit safe, so you also play... Maybe a bit more recklessly. I do not need to kill the Baron, so I'm just gonna move on. And I forgot the blue key. <laughs> That's why we went here in the first place. Okay. Now with the blue key, we can go to the to another very difficult fight. I will grab the. Um, can I still grab the mega armor? Can I? I think I can, right? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely need mega armor for the next fight. Ah, oh, yeah. This fight is very difficult. I hope I have enough cells for it. Or actually, before I forget, we can do some platforming. For the blue skull key. Let's do it now, because there's actually nothing dangerous here. If you fall, you don't take damage, there's no damaging floor below you. You just waste time, that's it. Yeah, this area, there's nothing here. On here, plenty at least, there's nothing. It just gets dark, it gets spooky. But on Ultra Vines, I think Baron spawn here, and we get, uh, yeah, it just clogs up with Barons. Speaking of, I will do a live stream of Magnolia on Ultra Violence with saves and loads to show you all the differences between her plenty and Ultra Violence. It should be fun. I think I told you not to already, but I forgot it's been too long ago. Okay, I'm getting a bit nervous now, but I shouldn't be. I'm fully stacked. I have a BFG. Yeah, this fight is... it's tough. Okay, so I grab the cells. Oh, yeah, damaging floor. I think the worst part is dealing with the Cybernet that appears here. He is in a cove, he cannot move, but... I always have bad luck. I have a Mangosphere here in case I eat a rocket, but still. Please have mercy. So I grab the key. Now, that's one good shot. Let's get the Kagos to infight. Now, second good shot. That was not a good shot. Grab the Mangosphere, grab the Mangosphere. <laughs> Red screen gaming. Oh man. I couldn't see for a moment. I should probably... Oh. I should... Not as reckless. Should not be reckless. Dealing with that cyber is so... So scary. 
Oh, I hope the Cybers are infighting with the Barons. Yes, they are. Perfect. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Chill here. Oh, I need a... I need a time to uh, breathe. Okay. Let me uh, drink real quick. Oh, okay. Almost one hour in. <laughs> Nearly died. I told you, that cyber there is so scary. I'm waiting for the Baron to die, by the way. I don't want any crossfire, I don't want any shenanigans. Okay, there's still a tunnel filled with archers to deal with. So let's just rush in. Okay, got them all. Perfect. And now we kill the cyber demons. And I'm gonna do it like this. Oh, are they infighting? Oh, they are. Okay, I need to wait again. I'm just taking it safe, okay? I just really, really don't want to die now. I really hope the Baron uh, eventually gets killed. Oh, man. Almost one hour in. But, as you can see, I almost explored everything. Please kill the Baron. Yes. Yeah, he's dead. Also, just in case, I'm gonna grab this supercharge. And I'm gonna just stop back. Because I need to tank. Uh... Oh, more Barons infighting. Hold on a sec. Cannot hear if he's gonna die though, but I assume with the six rockets he will die. Oh, they're still tossing fireballs at him. Okay, I assume he died now. Okay. I won't rest until all cybers are dead. I don't even care about the Baron anymore. Okay, one died. Oh, come on, please die faster. How many died? One or two? Two, okay. I can get the cells here. He's infighting. Another Baron going down, perfect. Because those Barons really need to die, because they're now blocking that uh, platforming section again. And it's a uh, waste of ammo to deal with him. So, did he kill the Baron? I don't even care. Let's just kill the Cyber. Yes! Okay, nice. Grab the Mega Armor just in case. So we're now gonna press the switch that normally lowers the cybers. But we killed them all, so nothing to worry about. Alright, now, or Archfoss. And now with the Baron's dead, they do not bother us. Normally they toss projectiles in your back. Not anymore. I got pretty lucky with that. Doesn't happen often that the parents all infight with the cybers. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm not gonna grab those cells. We have all the keys. Almost done. With the map. Still some secrets to uncover. I'm trying to remember which ones. Oh yeah, there's another one that is quite difficult. Oh crap, I forgot about you. Completely forgot about you. Oh my god, <laughs> I forgot about the odd shots here. Oh, I need to focus. I need to focus. I'm one hour in. It is no time to lose focus. Christ. Okay, um, yeah, those barons we need to deal with. Let's just jump over here. Oh, I messed up the jump. <sighs> this map is nerve-wracking, and imagine, this is Hermit Plenty, it's not even ultra-violence. Alright. Do I want to go there? Maybe? Doesn't really matter. 
I just need to go back to... Ooh, supercharge. I will not take it. I want to no, 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 I won't. Or maybe, no. I will. I may regret it, I'm not coming back here. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why that scared me. I didn't expect the Berserk there. Okay, so we're going back to this teleport device, back to the T area. Now we've got the Barons to deal with. I think I can shoot this from here. Yeah. Oh wow, six rocket burn. Alright. Now this area also unlocked, another secret down there. But I will go there later. I want to do the difficult fight first. Because I need to do platforming. And this time there are also turrets shooting at me at some point, so... Yeah, see? Ah, I should never underestimate how big those projectiles are. Alright. Let's try again. Maybe a bit, with a bit more confidence. Like, I can do a double jump here. Yeah, see? And then just... There we go. Alright, so this fight is very unpredictable. There's a shootable switch there, which needs a gold skull key. A yellow skull key. And down here are, I think, four or five pain elementals and a side demon in a cage. So when you drop down, you pretty much die. Unless you pre-fire your BFG, which I will not. I'm gonna take the risk and just gonna shoot the switch from here. Wake up the cyber. Hopefully he shoots. Yeah, nice. Please, stay down there. In fight. Kill all the pain elementals, please. Oh no, why are you going up? Oh no, why is he here? Oh no. Oh crap. Shit. I swear, that supercharge saved me. I think. Man, why do I eat so many Cybidon rockets during this run? Please, have mercy on me. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Okay, still got these pain metals to deal with. Oh, I'm gonna take it safe. Oh no, stop hitting me. I hope... He didn't... Fly away. Oh, he's here. Let's just grab the next rare squirt. There's so many of them. Yeah, that reward is really nice. Really, really nice. And now I can also um, do the... Oh god, I scared... I got really scared for a moment. I thought I... Broke the map somehow. Oof, okay. Yeah, this secret is epic. Watch this. You drop down here. Explosive barrel secrets, and this is what you do. That's the secret. Nothing. <laughs> All you do is take like 100 damage. No, 200 damage. That's why I saved this secret for almost until the end. Because then I can just... I can use a Megasphere to tank all the damage, and I can use a Megasphere to heal up. So... Okay, now what? Um, yeah, there's still more secrets to go. I know where they are. We're wrapping up the map. Still the final fight, which is also not easy. No, it's easy to mess up. That's, that's for sure. Yeah, so like I said, 
This area opened up. Drop down. Here we can find. I think. Yeah, here's another secret. And here's a very interesting room. <laughs> a lot of supercharges. Can I not grab this? Yeah. So what I will do is BFG the Penguin Mentals and the Mancubi. Somehow this one survived. And I will rocket the rest. Remind me to save BFG for the final secret. Oh, what are you doing here? Alright, now there's two archers here. Let's kill them one by one. That's one, and there's number two. Alright. Not done yet though, there's still this Mancubus and two more archers. Let's just lure them out. And we're gonna rocket them from here. Yeah, got him. Cool. So now I need... Oh crap, that's the wrong way. I forgot to press the switch. This thing is a switch apparently. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll just grab one. Do platforming again. Do I? Yeah, I do. Hopefully, last time. Okay, so I can do this double and quickly move on before the turrets hit me. Oh man. Still afraid that secret fight is not difficult, but it can really screw you over. I need um, I need cells for that. Um, let's take the teleporter here to the teal area and then we drop down over here. <sighs> and then we go to no oh, here over here. Yeah we go over here. So I left behind a lot of cells here. Yes. Okay, man, my palms are getting sweatier and sweatier. It's incredible. Oh, I have to do this again. Let me think, where do I want to go? No. I really hope I don't mess up now. I just want to beat this map. I didn't mention the attempts. This is my second attempt. First attempt I died early on. I don't think it's even worth showing the outtake. I don't say anything. I just died at the uh, the room where you get the red skull key, but the, where you get sandwiched by the oh my god by the two cyberdemons and the archers. But yeah, so far this is still second attempt. I hope it stays that way. Because now I kind of doubt if the map is really difficult or I just memorized everything so well that it's... very doable. Uh, what did I... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Lost. There we go. I want to go here. Why did I do all the difficult jumping stuff? Ah, I'm not focused. I need to focus. <clears throat> right, so we want to go here. Back to the teleporting device. To the red area, because that's where the blue skull switch was. Yeah, 
Here it is. Reveals this area, and here's the final secret. And I'm gonna pre-fire two BFG shots, because this area here is a sound blocking land up, so I'm just gonna pre-fire, kill the revenants. There we go. Now I need to wake up the Cyberdemon. Hopefully he gets pelted by the projectiles. Hopefully he shoots me as, as well. Okay. Perfect, he's dead. He's not dead, but that's okay. Okay. Secret fight survived. Let's just <clears throat> move on. Block the ice and get out. Oh, okay. I think we're done, aren't we? 460 kills. That's uh, all the kills you can get. I got all the secrets. I don't care about the items, which is unattain uh, unattainable 100% anyway. There's just one more thing I need to do, and that is grab a supercharge. Just to be safe. I'm gonna drop down here. I'm dreading the final fight. It's not even really a fight, it's just you surviving. But it's probably the most interesting fight in the entire WAD, that's for sure. You don't know what it looks like, you're gonna be amazed. Uh, I kind of forgot where I left behind other supercharge, but I guess I'll have to do the platforming one more time. One last time, I will take some damage here. Nope, thankfully not. Okay, one last time, platforming. I really hope I don't fall and waste my health and armor, but I should be fine. Okay, big jump. Move on. Yeah, okay. We're good. Also, if we did fall, there were still Mega Spheres down here, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, I guess it's time for the final fight then. I really hope I don't get scammed. I really, really, really do. Please, God. Have mercy. Final fight is here. <sighs> Final fight. A lot of Cyber Demons. A lot of Archfoss. And... Oh, I don't see the Archfoss yet. Here they are. The Archfoss. They make sure we cannot shoot. Who's gonna kill the Cybers for us? These things. Yep. That's a death ray. The turrets will do all the dirty work for us. Let's go. Yep. I know. It's beautiful. Have you ever seen anything like that? I haven't. That is ridiculous. Okay, let's just... Keep going. So far, so good. This is looking really good. What I hate about this fight is when the Cybers decide to roam. After getting shot. But so far they are behaving, except for that one cyber. So I just get all the projectiles. Okay. Okay, last cyber didn't die, but did he wake up? Okay, now he died. I, just, I was looking at the kill count, I was making sure I got all the kills. Shoot, yeah, 
24 kills, 24 outros. Okay, I got all the kills. Now for the final challenge. Uh, I'm gonna press the switch, it's gonna cross the outros, but the outros are gonna retaliate. So I need to make sure I don't get zapped. But also, shouldn't get hit by all the projectiles, so... Wish me luck. Press the switch, make a big movement, so the projectiles do not hit me. I'm getting zapped. Then do another little circle like this. And now all the outros will get crushed. They are dead, we got all the kills. One final challenge is to not get crushed. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go! We did it. <laughs> My god. What a map. And now we gotta find the red Doom guy, but it's the one that always faces you, so... Let's just push this one away. Push him away a bit. Carefully. Punch out the fake Doom guy. And we are done. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the longest map I had a single segment. I think I... I think it is. I cannot think of any other map that took me like one hour and something minutes to beat. Maybe a beat back to certain X map, but that was blind. That doesn't count. Was it? I don't remember, but... My god, what a map. I mentioned it at the start. This is definitely... One of the best maps I've ever played. Just everything is done perfectly. The atmosphere, the music, the fights, they're all interesting. The the gimmicks, like the eye turrets being used like that, especially during the final fight. My god. Oh, I'm getting all excited about this. Oh, very, very inspiring. I truly believe this is a masterpiece. It's gonna be really difficult to uh, surpass my... Um, or just raise the bar in general for me to get impressed by maps anymore. But this truly is the best of the best so far. Oh, okay. Let me just wipe the sweat of my palms. I, I really need to hydrate after this. There's one more map, by the way. It's um, just a little slash slash slash. It's like a little thanks for playing, I guess, map. Or to prevent you from Going to map four, the focus. Um, but yeah, we're done with Magnolia as it is. I mean, there are still secret levels. I'm still not sure how many there are actually. Some people to say say there are only two or three, but different variations of those three. Some say there are five unique ones. Some say there are eight unique ones. I still not exactly sure. Um, but I have two of the secret levels. Um, I will uh, ask permission to the people that originally obtained them, if I'm allowed to, uh, or if it's okay to make videos about them. Um, I think both maps I will st still play on Hermit Plenty, because one of them is uh, really, di yeah, really difficult, like insane difficult. I think only Derek managed to complete it, and the other one. Seems doable, but I think I'll just stay consistent to do everything on Hermit Plenty. I mean, everything is challenging enough as it is. And with Magnolia done, I will also schedule a live stream where I will play through all five levels, unless I get more levels, of course. On Ultra Violence, I will use saves and loads, and I will point out all the differences. And then you can also see why I'm not going to single segment Ultra Violence, because it's absolutely ridiculous how difficult some of these maps get so yeah that's it magnolia is somewhat done but yeah still secret levels to go um one of them is not easy at all it involves platforming with a very 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 miserable gimmick you'll see what i mean when i uh, record it but yeah i'm glad to be done with this one i am uh yeah i'm gonna start rendering this it's gonna take me ages to render this and upload but I'm very glad I got it. Magnolia Map 3 Her Plenty is done. I am now qualified to play Ultraviolence, but I will not. <laughs> no, I will not. You'll see during the live stream why not. So yeah, thank you, <laughs> thank you guys very much for watching. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> I think it's time to take a break and enjoy my Saturday. And I'll see you guys in the secret levels. Have a good day. See you next time.